There it is. We're going in, boys. I know we probably don't want to attract attention, but man, I would not have landed at the base of the mountain and climbed up. The store has been welded shut, which seems impractical, but it looks like they're serious about keeping the Ixitakans in here. I mean, the fence is only slightly taller than that guy, so welding the door shut doesn't exactly achieve much. Also, just put a fucking lock on it, you weirdos. There's no need to be so extra about it. God. I haven't saved all, since all the way back in Maramba. Whatever. So here, uh, you might notice the panel. Tragically, nothing we can do. Uh-oh, I think we just stepped on some kind of switch. Yeah, I... God, it blends in so well. It doesn't look like anything happened. It was probably nothing. Right. Obviously. Don't look up, though, by the way. <laughs> well, DeLoco, I heard that the air pirates have crossed the South Ocean. They are on their way here. Yes, I ran into them north of Horteca. They, um, narrowly escaped my flame cannon. <laughs> yeah, yes, well, fighting air pirates is a bit more difficult than burning down trees, but I guess you already know that. Vise was responsible for my demotion. I will make sure he suffers, and I will prove to the world that I am Valua's greatest admiral. He will do no such thing. So, soon, Galcian will be taking orders from me. I simply don't understand why someone as noble as myself is forced to take orders from anyone other than Empress Theodora herself. Well, DeLoco, I must be going. I have to exterminate some pests. Idiot! Perhaps you should have stared into the mirror a bit longer this morning. I think you have a hair out of place. As for you, Vise, you damaged my precious chameleon. You will pay for that. Oh, yes, you will pay. The next time we meet will be the last. But that switch didn't do anything. Someone just set off the alarm. I wonder who it could be. Imagine if they had any situational awareness. Fies, how nice of you to drop by. You saved me the trouble of finding you. Yes, I know that you're searching for the moon crystals as well. You must be trying to rescue Isapa. Good, good, you see, Vise, these mines are full of traps. Too bad for you. You can't escape, Vise. You will never leave these mines alive. The exit just closed by itself. I don't know about you guys, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. He said, cursing it. Mind you, you know, heaven forbid we just, like, walk around the panel. Whatever. And of course. Nope. Won't, lo won't open. Of course not. So the gimmick for this dungeon is, pl is pressure plates. Where? Cham? Where is the cham? There is the cham. I have a few of these actually now. Let's feed the boy. He is now the cupicone. I. What the fuck is the cupicone? I don't remember that one. Well, we'll find out right fucking now. Fuck, she's kind of fucked up, actually. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god, right. It's a drill, of course. Ah. 
The cupid cone is a weird way to say that when it's a drill. In my head, that was just the drill. All right, now. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, and I know they turn the encounter rate down for Legends as well. If you can believe- well, I mean, you haven't seen most of me walking around. Rest assured, I'm getting into fights every five seconds in this game. And it used to be higher in the original game. They nerfed it for Legends. And it's still really fucking high. There's an item you can find that increases the random encounter rate. I don't know why you ever would, but there is. If I, I remember here, I don't know if this is actually true, but there's also one that reduces random encounter rates. I remember hearing that the encounter rate in Legends is as if it had the map, the reduction item in, Le in the first game, but just all the time. And it's still mad fucking high. This is why RPGs where you can see the random encounters on the field are just objectively better. How many moonberries do we have? You can just avoid them if you don't want to fight them, you know. Only one. Tragically, most games don't do that. You just eat shit, you know. Hey, buddy. I haven't seen you around here before. Were you brought here recently, in a manner of speaking? A man named DeLoco made this mine. It's filled with nasty traps. There's trapdoors all over the place, and remember, a circle doesn't always mean it's the right way. If you can see below, look down. If there's a mining cart, it'll come back here. Yeah. If you take the wrong path, you can get sent back a really long distance, but yeah, the trick is just look down. When you can look down, of course. Just like he says, the circle is not always the right path. And then you eat shit at the other end. I, I feel like the minecarts are not too well constructed to just atomize like that, but whatever, you know. Oh, oh yeah. These fuckers. Look at this boy right here. Mm hmm hmm. A Serpentis. There are some pretty, like, spooky monsters. I mean, there's this one, obviously. You've already seen the brain suckers. There's a. Uh, well, there's an area we'll get to later. This whole thing is that it's kind of filled with fucked up shit. Didn't like that place very much as a child. All right, there we go. It wouldn't be a bait unless the first one was the trap, you know? Ah! And, well, you know, there's only one path across them, so... And then, this is where you look down, and you go, Ah, I see. Don't fall on the cards. But of course, also, you know, shake down the other areas as well. But that's, that's the gimmick. You slowly work your way down. Oh, wait, no, this doesn't open. This is where we leave later, isn't it? Yeah, it won't move. That's fine. Well, that's where we'll come out of later, I believe. Because we gotta get out again somehow. Who's in here? No one. Wow. Four Curia crystals. It's like Christmas fucking morning. What about in here? 800 gold. Chump change. Ah. 
Oh, yeah. There's one where you have to, like, get taken back if you want to get the chest. Ugh. Sick falling noise, I know. Alright. Is this better than what anybody's currently wearing? Yes, actually. Great. And then... Ah, uh, go back to the start. Life is hard. The things we do for loot. Just look at how fucking unhelpful the map is. This does nothing to communicate anything to you, because none of those are, like, in line with each other. Hey there, friend. What you doing? You don't look like you're of a Lewin. Who might you be? I'm Vise. Are you Isapa? No, it appears you've mistaken me for someone else. My name is Sentime. Then you're Hans' father. You know Hans! Then you must have been to the village in Horteca. That's where my wife and children are. Everyone was okay, right? Yeah, they were doing just fine. But you should worry about yourself right now. Oh, I'm okay. When I refused to help Valua, they threw me into these dungeons. I've been here for quite a while. You were looking for someone named Isapa, correct? If so, then you'll need to venture further into these mines. I think I can help. What are you shouting about over there, huh? Oh, no. That sounds terrible. There are elevators scattered throughout the mines. You'll need to use them to reach the other areas. I can get them working. Yay! Woo! Wow, Sentine, you're amazing. Why, thank you. I must advise you. Proceed with caution. There are all sorts of traps. I'll travel ahead to see if I can disarm them for you. Thank you. You've been a great help to us already. It's the least I can do for you. You rescued me, remember? I'm sure we'll meet again. Good luck. Alright. In we go. In we go. Tremendous. Now... Who's in here? It's a Zal seed. Please open the menu. What's a Zal seed do? It's vigor, which will be going on vies. This is this is how it be. Now, where? Oh Christ. Ugh. Dude, look how fucking unhelpful this map is. Does that look like it means anything to you? Like, I get it, it's that it's like, sideways rather than top-down, but man, it is profoundly unhelpful. I can't tell you where any one point on that map actually is. Playing some mischief music. Good, good. Soon, Vice. Very soon you shall die. And when you die, I want you to die slowly. Yes, yeah, slowly. Really slowly. I want your brains to gush out of your head. Pardon me, DeLoco. I didn't mean to interrupt one of your intellectual monologues. I came to tell you that Vise has broken into the mines. And you figured this out all by yourself. What gave it away? Is it the alarm? Was it the sirens? 
Yes, well, the fact he is foolish enough to deliver himself to me, I shall go dispose of him. Alphonse is going to dispose of us. You're the fool, Alfonso. The only reason that you were made admiral was because of your family. You don't stand a chance against Vise. I shall kill him. I want him to die, 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 die. Very soon. <laughs> um, Dodoko is not a particularly deep character. I don't know if you've picked up on that. Hey, guys. What you garden? Where were your two friends hiding? Hmm? Where were they? Anyway. Cool. And in here. Cool. And in here. Great. What's a healing salve do? It is... Allows one ally to regenerate health. Oh, trash. Right. That's why I don't remember. I see. Hello, friend. And who might you be? Are you the High Priest Isapa? The one and only? I am Isapa. We're on a mission from King Ixataka. We're here to rescue you. Well, the King knows what I like. Sending two beautiful women to come save me. I know. I know. I have no use for you, ma'am. Now, if you'll just leave us alone for a while. I know. I know. And you still haven't seen what Vigoro is going to do yet. Oh, really? There's no way this dirty old man is a high priest. Oh, aren't you a pretty one? In all of my years, I've never seen anyone like you. I believe that you are a Sylvite, am I right? <gasps> what? How did you know? <laughs> instinct, my dear, instinct. I am very observant, especially around women. I could probably guess that goofy girl's measurements. She's like 17. Okay, that does it. I know we have to bring him back, but the king didn't say anything about bringing him back conscious. Relax, Aika. Right now, we just have to worry about getting out of here alive. Let's go. She's like 17, dude. Oh. So, you've rescued Isapa. Very nice. But soon you will die. You will die a horrible death, and you will scream, and I will laugh. Did you see the trap? It was really subtle, wasn't it? I've prepared my favorite room just for you. Please come and stay a while. Stay forever. Yeah, anyway. Alright, well, let's just save the game real quick. I'm actually going to save on the other file, just in case. Don't imagine there'll be an issue, but you never know. I don't get it. Why would the Valuans build such a huge room in these mines and not use it for anything? You're all bad looking up. Bad at looking up. 
I don't plan on sticking around long enough to find out. So you've made it this far. I am impressed, but now you should die. You'll die for what you did to my precious chameleon. Oh, yes, you will. <gasps> if we're being honest, this spiked ceiling is fucking terrible. Because you could definitely just get between the spikes, crouch down, and it's fine, you know? I love it. <laughs> All of the slaves who tried to run have died in this room. Vise, I want to hear you scream. Now I shall have my revenge. Let's start the show, shall we? Now what? <gasps> Long time no see, Vise. It is I, Alfonso. I came to watch you die. What are you doing, Alfonso, you fool? If you're in there, I won't be able to crush them. Someone of my stature doesn't deal with filth like yourselves personally. Antonio too. Finish them. Yeah. He's gold this time, though. I don't remember what he does differently to the first one. If anything. He's a better color. Yeah, he looks fancier, no doubt. Okay, he is yellow. As I expected. There weren't very many options for what color he could be. Oh, I haven't shown you Spirit Charge yet. This one takes zero. Yeah, it's just like charge, but big. Yep, that's the same. Though now it's a lot easier for it to hit multiple people. Wait, no, I have an item now. I have the AoE item. Yeah, we may as well. Alright, yeah, he was exactly the fucking same. <laughs> that was easy. But did he have anything good on him? A moonberry? Mmm. Pretty impressive it can stand that far up. What are you doing? Not this way. And that's a broken spine right there. Serves you right, Alfonso. You get what you deserved. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to skewer all of you. What? 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 What's going on? My traps have never failed me before. Crush them, crush them, crush them. Admiral Zaloko, someone has tampered with all of the machines in the mines. They are all, are all malfunctioning. What? Why? Why? How can this be? I don't understand. Fies, why won't you just die?
Sir, step out of it. Please get a hold of yourself. He even wears jester shoes. That's the kind of person he is. How you doing with that broken spine, buddy? Why do these things always happen to me? Get fucked. Hey, buddy. Hello. You made it out of the mines unharmed, I see. I made a few adjustments to some of the machinery in the mines. Did it help? So that's what that was. He did say he was going to try and disarm some. Let's be on our way. Ah, yes, I managed to open the door to the outside as well. I must hurry back to see my family. They must be terribly worried about me. You really know your stuff. <laughs> and he cares very much about his family as well. You're a good man, Sentine. We're glad we could help you. Thank you very much. Well, I must get going. Stop by and see me in Horteca when you get a chance. I don't know what boat he's taking, but I guess he found one. Well, we got other places to be. We gotta go find the fucking gold city. It's not gold. There's gold in there, but it's not gold. I thank you for saving Isipa. <laughs> yes, thank you for rescuing me. I'd love to thank you two ladies, personally. I know. But I must return to my priestly duties. Well, it was nice meeting you. Not so fast. You were supposed to tell us the location of the lost city. Ah, that's right. I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Ah, 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 ah. King Ixataka, with all due respect, where did you get this guy? Is he really a high priest? With all due respect, your high priest's a fucking clown. Of course. He has much knowledge in ancient scriptures and history. Very well, I shall pass on to you the secret of the lost city that has been passed down in my family for many generations. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. That is all. You got that? What do you mean, that is all? I have no idea what you were talking about. To be completely honest, I don't know what it means either. You need to solve the riddle on your own. <laughs> I give up. If you didn't know, you should have said so in the first place. Now calm down, Ike. Listen to what he just told us. There's a discovery that points to it. The great bird with its wings spread, and the kneeling golden man will open the way. You remember the guy in the city that said he could see a golden man? I know what it means. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man are probably somewhere on the continent. So if we find them, we'll find the lost city. All right, let's go find this great bird and the golden man. So yeah, that guy that was talking about seeing a gold, gold man, he wasn't just talking shit. There is one. Gold man is right around here. A golden statue that stands quietly, as if pointing something out. It is thought to have been placed here to protect the sacred island. Male statues are often found in temples and other buildings, while female statues are found near holy lakes and trees. Yeah, the least subtle directions ever. What's this? There's something set in the statue's eye socket. No one will notice if it's missing, right? And besides, we're air pirates. Can you really blame us for taking a little bit of treasure? It's pretty sacred, but you know, that's okay. And then we follow this the other way. And I... Uh, like up here somewhere. Where is it? We're looking for a, an empty patch of land. Ah, there it is. You can actually see this discovery before you discover it. And then you can get fucked just before you touch it as well. The Great Bird. The wings and tail of the Great Bird are said to indicate the equinoxes of the ancient Ixitakan ver Verdilunar, Verdilunar calendar. 
Figures of other animals once started the plane, but they have been swallowed by the expanding forest, leaving only the bird. Hey, Aika, do you see something glittering on the ground right where the eye of that bird would be? You're right, let me go down and see what it is. I found something. There was a gem stuck into the ground. I'm sure we they won't miss a little itty-bitty gem, right? Right. Besides, who knows when it will come in handy. True story, brother. Then you follow the beak. There it is. You found the Gate of Rixus. A huge stone face that stands quietly, buried deep in the forests of Ixitaka. The stones have been gifted, fitted so tightly together that not even an instinct would crawl. Instinct? What the fuck is wrong with me? An insect could crawl between them. It remains of. It is a remnant of an ancient civilization. Just hit you with a little. Save action real quick. And, of course, we could find this before we came here. But, we needed the gems anyway. There's an indentation big enough to fit a small gem. Fuck, hold on. I didn't actually look at which one is where. No. I didn't look at the colors on the big one. Is that right? No, it's not. Okay. There we go. Come over to the other side. I do have a bit of trouble imagining that they've actually made, like, an airtight seam in the rocks, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. Maybe aliens were involved, so... And it's dungeon time. Right after the last dungeon, we get a double whammy right away. Tragically, not very gold. Very cool ambience, though. Now I know why they call this place the City of Mist, but I don't remember seeing any mist in the forest. The air is thin. It's a little hard to breathe. We're going up for a long time. I think these mists are actually clouds. But this doesn't look like anything... This doesn't look anything like a lost city of gold. There's just a bunch of ruins up here. Yeah, it looks nothing like a lost city, right? In the old world, Rixus was the capital of the green civilization. It was destroyed by the rains of destruction. Since then, it's been frozen in time. These craters must have been caused by the moonstones that were bombarding the city. I'm not seeing any gold here. As Tom passes stories about this city, probably got more and more exaggerated. We were supposed to find gold. I should have slapped that dirty old man silly when I had the chance. It's okay. There will be other perverts to bully. What the? It's a boy. Advise, if this city's been dead for generations, then who is that? What? Where? Over there. Where? I don't see anything. But, but there was someone there. You were looking at him the whole time, Ika. How'd you lose him? Ika, this city's been dead for a very long time. Who else would be up here? It's probably just your imagination. Why don't you believe me? I know I saw something. Probably the wind. Fina, do you think that maybe I saw a ghost? A ghost? What's a ghost? It 
It's been a while since you said something like that. A ghost is... How, how should I explain this? Well, it's something very scary, that's for sure. How would you ex describe a ghost to somebody that's never heard of one before? Really? Well, if you're this scared, I could... This ghost must be something very scary. Two things I hate the most right now are dirty old men and ghosts. Vise, let's let's not go. We'll be cursed. Oh, come on, Ike. We came all this way for a green crystal, and we're not going to go back empty-handed. If the last ruin didn't curse us, this one isn't going to. You can just wait here till we get back. Oh, I'm not going to wait here all by myself with those things out there. All right, all right. I'll go with you. I can't believe I'm doing this. What a pussy. Anyway, let's go. 